Good morning, Rick. Good morning, Megan. Happy Tuesday, huh? Happy Tuesday. This is our ninth episode of mm -hmm. um, Keeping It Real or whatever we're calling our little show here. Uh, uh -huh. We started at the beginning of uh, the pandemic and now we're week mm -hmm. nine and mm -hmm. man, how things have changed and mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, you know, kind of at first we all thought if we sat still and, and stayed in our house that it would go away. And <laughs> yeah, right. like, here we are. yeah, it's like boiling yeah. water here, you know, but, um, but uh, what we're doing in our office this week is uh, we're, we're kind of coming, we're having like a come to Jesus and we are getting our, our business plan that we had for 2020 and we're, we're sitting down with it again. And then we have a blank business plan parallel to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it okay. starts June 1st. So June 1st is our new January one. And uh, we're rewriting um, how we are going to make sure we keep in touch with our clients. Because you know, you've been to mm -hmm. my parties. I have great mm -hmm. parties. and You do. I'll Look get forward together. to those. I, yes. I love my clients. I have a VIP list. I do pop buys. We do wine. We do facials. We have a really good time. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to uh, incorporate uh, things moving forward until mm -hmm. um, everybody feels fairly, uh, you know, confident in in things. Right. So socially. So that's what I'm doing. But it's really busy. I was um, showing houses again this weekend and I wrote an offer. It was multiple offers again and I got my um, offer accepted. And this uh, buyer came to me with a uh, mortgage broker that they had already been approved with and they were, you know, they didn't want to they didn't want to do the process again. So I called the mortgage mm -hmm. broker to introduce myself. And I just wanted to get a feel kind of of who I was going to be dealing with. Cause as we all know, I mean, selling somebody a house can either be like the, the best process they've ever been through in their whole life, or it could be hell on earth for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's emotional, it's your house, it's financial. And especially during these times, like you want to be a bright shining light, right? Like you don't want to cause yeah. people grief. So I called the, the mortgage broker and um, I said who I was and just a little introduction. And I asked him about like what his timelines look like. Um, Cause I have been hearing a, a little bit of that in the industry, like, Oh, you know, it's COVID it's, you know, things are not moving as fast and there's a holdup and there's, there's people working from their homes and I haven't, and I'm not just saying this to toot your own horn or anything, but I have had zero problems with you getting things done. Zero zilch, nothing. And so the, so when I go other places and I hear excuses, I just like, my head's going to pop off my shoulders, mm -hmm. you know, because I just like, I can't stand excuses, first of all. But anyway, so, I mean, this guy, you know, nice guy, I'm sure he, he knows what he's doing and everything, but he's a mortgage broker. He's not a direct lender. And so he was kind of like, um, not like not real forthcoming with like how fast he can move things along, you know? And so mm -hmm. I thought today for this episode, if you could just give us sort of a, the rundown on the difference between a mortgage broker and a direct lender. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, thanks, Megan. So here's here's the real key difference. A mortgage broker is essentially a middleman. They don't control any of the process whatsoever. So uh, say they will submit their loan to a lender that does want loans just for the mortgage brokers. There, and in many cases, that lender could be dealing with you know two thousand different mortgage brokers. They could have three or four thousand loans in their pipeline, trying to get those through that process from underwriting and the funding and so on and so forth. So. Uh, so unfortunately for the mortgage broker, they're just a, a cog in the wheel in, in that process. And so when a broker kind of him has about the turn times and the dates and what they can do, that's because they don't control anything. They're at the mercy of a third party to make those decisions for them. 
and they don't have the ability to grant exceptions to move things uh, more quickly. So, so that creates more of a barrier, if you will, to, to that process, especially so on a purchase. You know, um, and the difference with my process is that, as you know, we're direct lender, but here's the beauty of this. I have this exact same team on every file. I know my team, I've got my assistant, my processor, my underwriter, my, my funding team, my, my doc team. It's the same group of people on every loan. So I'm not a cog in the wheel. I'm not one of 3,000 loans trying to get processed. I'm, I've got the same team. So they know how we work. They know what to expect. And so that gives us control over that process. So you know, when you and I talk about a situation, about an offer, you know, we can move a loan up to a 21-day closing, a 14-day removal of contingencies, things of that nature, because we have the absolute confidence that we can perform and deliver on those dates. And that's because we control the process. Yeah. And I like that yeah. because, you know, sometimes being a competitive offer doesn't always mean um, offering the highest price. Sometimes it means offering to the seller and to the listing agent mm -hmm. a sense of, you um, you know, sort of solitude, knowing that things are going to be resolved quickly and they're going to be right. able to move forward. You know, what is that saying? Right. There's no um, dollar sign on a peace of mind, right? Yeah, right. So, well, that the, as you know, the, the important thing is having a, a clear path forward, mm -hmm. right? And you have to have that clear path forward on day one, not on day 22, mm. right? Lord have mercy. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, we're going to keep it short today. And I really appreciate um, that input and that time. And, yeah, and I sure hope bet. that people feel like they watch these and that they learn a little bit about uh, what we do. And um, that there's a lot of, lot of different uh, pieces. And our goal is to get them all put together without anybody getting their, their hair frazzled. Yeah, for sure, right? <laughs> all right, thanks, Rick. Thanks, Megan. See you later. Bye.